Welcome back to Dr. Sofer's second opinion at uh, the M Health Summit in Washington, D.C., where we have really the world's greatest new inventions in medicine. Um, we have uh, with us uh, Tony Stearns, who is with IRX Reminder, and he is not only a physician and the CEO, but he's got a really cool jewelry box with him, and he's going to tell you how that might actually help us stay healthier. It, this um, box is actually not a jewelry box, but it is a medication adherence system. It interoperates uh, with a smartphone, and a patient will follow their symptoms, and then using these pods, uh, they merely uh, pick up the box, uh, the pod, place it in their hand, tilt it, and a med medicine comes out. They put it back in the box, and it reports uh, that your medicine's taken. So your physician can see back where the in their home office uh, that you're you're able to follow the regimen and that you're getting better. So not only are you going to have the information get back to your doctor that you took the medication, but it'll remind you as well as we all forget that I take that in the morning or not? Right, so it keeps track um, uh, and on the app you can see that you've taken medications and uh, there won't be a light on the pod when it's time if you've already taken it. So um, also uh, that medication schedule can be changed. So if you're recovering from something like um, bone marrow transplant, uh, you uh, lower the amount of dosage over time, uh, a wean, and, and that can be done automatically uh, from the electronic medical record for your doctor. So your doctor can change your medications as it's dispensed to you in a box like this, or I imagine you have different types of boxes, and you don't have to go back to the doctor to have them write you a new prescription, or he didn't even have to call it in, it just goes right to the box and, and is notified. That's right. So in the case you're getting better, you can reduce the amount of medication. Wow. Wow. That's got to be great in folks that have things like steroids, you know, for asthma or maybe diabetics, people that need a lot of alterations, right? That, that's right. I think uh, in pain therapy, for example, if it's not working, you're reporting high levels of pain uh, on the app, for example, then, then they could choose to allow more medication to be given so that you're more comfortable. That is, allow. that is fantastic. And I see the monitor that's right in there. Can that also maybe give you alerts if you've got a combination of medications that could be harmful taken together or just take this with food or not with food, all that kind of stuff right. you forget. So when you pick up the pod, uh, on the screen would appear uh, all the digital information you would see on that bottle. And that's really the problem with the, the seven-day plastic pillbox that everyone likes to use is because it completely separates all those warnings and how to take the medication with food or with water uh, away from uh, the person. So you always have it every time you pick it up. You, you, each medicine as you pick it up, you'll know exactly why you're taking it. It's fantastic, like a, like a pharmacy or a pharmacist in a box. Instead right. of a jack-in-the-box, you get a little pharmacist Yeah, we, we kind of call it a personal Pixis, which is a, right. a robotic system right. in a hospital. Sure, familiar. Well, that is really uh, fantastic, Tony. I appreciate you coming in, and we wish you the best of luck. Can't wait to see it. Uh, well, we look forward to seeing it out there as well. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take so care.